Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a crazy past day or so when it comes to Modern Warfare 3 news. Obviously, we got the standard major reveal for the game with the trailer yesterday. We also got a good bit of multiplayer information from various different sources. But on top of that, there was also a bunch of different sort of secret multiplayer gameplay details that were revealed, just not in the same way that the main stuff was, right? And so today, I've gathered up pretty much all of the bonus information, all the bonus details that we got regarding MW3 multiplayer that give us even more of an idea of how this game is going to play. And this is stuff that you probably missed yesterday, unless you, you know, maybe you were following me on Twitter because I did post some of this over there already, at Who's Immortal, by the way, if you wanna drop me a follow over there. But uh, getting started here initially, Obviously, yesterday, a handful of different creators were able to share what they saw when they went out to see MW3 early. Unfortunately, I was invited, but I wasn't able to make it out due to some personal stuff going on that week. But the Ghost of Hope actually sort of combined all the info that was talked about in those videos that was not mentioned on any official social channels or anything in regards to multiplayer gameplay. This is largely just, uh, you know, bonus gameplay additions, things that we're going to experience in multiplayer here. So initially the cutthroat game mode, this was briefly mentioned in the Call of Duty blog. This is going to be a 3v3v3 mode that is like round-based elimination style. So gunfight times face-off, maybe a little bit there, could be kind of interesting. As far as some new gear and perks goes, there's going to be the signal jammer, which delays explosions from enemy lethal equipment, could be interesting and obviously would have its sort of niche uses, could be really good in specific modes like uh, SND, Hardpoint, and Dom, where there are set objectives that are gonna be spammed by nades. There's the breach drone, which is a lethal drone that flies a straight path until impact of an object or players. There's the mosquito drone, which is a new streak. It's a drone that dive bombs the enemy players, sort of like the hunter killer drone, I guess. The ACS field upgrade when thrown down will capture objectives for you without needing to be in the objective. It has a limited time until expiration. Really interesting sounding field upgrade there. Uh, the ACS does count as an additional player. So if one player and an ACS are both capturing a DOM flag, that capture rate will be the same as two players. So that's kind of interesting as well. And it can hack enemy equipment in non-objective game mode. So it has multiple different uses. All seem pretty strong. I'm curious to see how they balance that. There's gonna be the comm scrambler field upgrade. It keeps any friendly player within the range of a scrambler off the radar. So uh, no minimap red dots if you're shooting or uh, UAV pings, obviously. Then lastly, the detector gear or perk. This detects enemy lasers when pointing at you. So a variation of high alert, I guess. So a few additional gameplay details uh, from the various creators who got to see MW3 early. However, that's not even close to all of the additional details and secret updates that we got for MW3 multiplayer in the past 24 hours. So uh, Charlie Intel also posted clarifying about hardcore mode in Modern Warfare 3, saying hardcore mode will be in MW3 multiplayer as well. Sledgehammer Games said it is the normal hardcore mode and not tier one. So obviously standard gameplay is going to have that increased health at 150 as opposed to the standard 100 for that longer TTK. However, if you're a fan of hardcore, if you like that faster TTK, or maybe you don't like having all the HUD elements there, more of that realism style gameplay, that's gonna be available for you. Uh, no weird gameplay changes like in MW2, like what Infinity Ward tried to do with tier one, just standard hardcore. So definitely some good news there. Now, Sledgehammer also sort of very discreetly talked about some additional changes coming to major features in MW3 multiplayer. And I've gone through and compiled all these and basically made images of them so they are super easy to convey. As we get into this quick reminder, if you guys are new here, literally every single day, I got you covered with everything you need to know about Call of Duty, especially MW3 right now with all the major news dropping. You're not gonna wanna miss any of it, so make sure you are subscribed with those noties turned on. And if you guys enjoy the video, if you are liking the sound of these changes and new features for MP, do me a favor, drop a like, it would be really appreciated, and it does really help the channel grow. Hey everyone, quick little announcement. This weekend, going through Wednesday, there is now a buy one, get one free event, a BOGO event going on over at G Fuel. So if you guys want to take advantage of the best possible discount you can get on a G Fuel order, now is the time. You can get one tub of your choosing and get a second one entirely free. There is no better discount you can get even with my code on your standard orders. So if you're looking to try out a new flavor or restock your favorites, now is literally the best time to do so. The link for that will be down in the description below. Now, as for what Sledgehammer was sharing here, we actually got some images of certain gameplay elements here. Initially, the first thing that they shared was the minimap with the red dots on it. 
it's your standard mini map like we don't get anything too crazy here in regards to new reveals or anything but still you get a look at what the mini map would look like if you have a uav up or if somebody is firing an unsuppressed weapon there the next thing we get a peek of is two of the multiplayer maps during the map voting portion of their slide here we can see afghan on the left obviously with the crash plane in its remastered form and then terminal on the right which looks very interesting i'm liking the color scheme almost seems like it's taking place in like an overcast day now and again you can tell this is a completely remastered version of terminal as well so a couple of sneak previews at some of the maps we also get a look at the slide cancel animation but it's also very important what's being said in the sort of subtext here they say it's going to be the same slide cancel animation as MW 2019 and Warzone 1, presumably. However, there is no tax sprint reset. This is now officially confirmed. You will not be able to tax sprint reset because of slide canceling. And now that's not saying there's not a different way to sort of tax sprint reset manually. They did confirm that while sprinting naturally in game, your tax sprint will sort of replenish, which I'm very curious to see how that plays. Is that just like an infinite sprint that gets faster for brief periods of time? That'd be really good for fast paced gameplay, at least in theory, right? But we'll have to see how it works in application uh, come the beta. But straight up for slide canceling, this is now simply just a maneuver to enhance your engagements to help you maneuver around the map. It's no longer an actual exploit like it was in MW 2019 and Warzone 1, which I find to be good news. I feel like slide canceling in and of itself as a mechanic that doesn't reset tax sprints is equally as important for actual engagements. Then with the faster movement that we're already going to have in game, I feel like, you know, that tax sprint reset exploit might not be as important as it was back in previous games so definitely some interesting news there that is uh you know under the radar i guess you could say because of how it's been revealed another series of uh you know i guess under the radar changes if you want to call them that for lack of better word they talked about more survivability the base health being increased obviously to 150 but then also there's going to be lower headshot multipliers in mw2 mp this year so it won't be as rewarding to hit headshots then that obviously equates to that longer time to kill with the increased health so interesting to see how rewarding good aim actually is going to be in this game obviously with a longer ttk aim in general is favored because you have to stay on target for longer but obviously you should be rewarded for hitting those more lethal shots to the upper body so the upper torso the neck and the head those sort of smaller hitboxes I'm curious to see how low those headshot multipliers will be uh, or if it's just not MW2 where if you hit one headshot, you're pretty much good. And then the last thing that Sledgehammer gives us a sneak peek of is the silent movement perk, which is presumably Ninja. That's what the icon looks like as well. But this is our first time actually seeing what the perk icon looks like for this and what we can imagine the other ones will be in similar style as well. So it's just like the perk icon over the little square background there. Nothing too crazy, but it is our first look at the perks and how they will uh, appear to us in MW3 multiplayer. So like I said, couple of secret, couple of bonus reveals for MW3 multiplayer gameplay, all details that honestly I'm liking the sound of so far. We get some good looks at some of the maps and how uh, they're going to be remastered. And then obviously major features in regards to the mini map sliding general health as well. So some big details here that you might've missed yesterday during all the craziness since these were much more discreet and subtle reveals across their socials. But that all being said, that is gonna wrap things up for this one. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like, it would be really appreciated as always. And if you guys wanna guarantee you are always up to date with everything going on in COD between Warzone, MW3 and MW2, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.